Fortnite is getting bigger every year and for chapter 6 they are preparing at a whole new level. Developers creating Fortnite experiences can now test a new first-person camera mode. Initially, this feature will be available as an experimental release in the Unreal Editor for Fortnite. Later this year, it will enter beta, allowing creators to publish their experiences with first-person modes, according to Epic Games. For now, not all players' actions will remain in first-person view. According to a blog post by Epic Games, certain actions like swimming, gliding, and skydiving will switch the camera to third person. This will still be the case when the first person camera officially launches in beta. Speaking of getting bigger, PlayStation has just announced a new limited edition DualSense wireless controller for Fortnite. It features popular characters Fish Stick and Peely from the Fortnite universe. With this Fortnite Limited Edition DualSense controller, players can jump into the game to fight the storm and enjoy building, battling, and creating in style. The DualSense Wireless Controller Fortnite Limited Edition will be available in limited quantities for $85. Pre-orders started on October 3rd, 2024 and will be launched globally on November 7th. The exact launch date and availability may vary by region. Just because Fortnite is getting popular doesn't mean you should spend the whole day playing it without doing your homework. Epic Games has added new time limit controls in Fortnite, enabling parents to set restrictions on their child's playtime. The studio announced these changes in a recent blog post stating that the new tools apply to both the popular Battle Royale game and Unreal Editor for Fortnite. According to the new safety guidelines page, the time limit controls feature allows parents to limit the total amount of time their child can play each day. They can also select specific time windows for when their child can play and set time limits within those windows. After setting a time limit, kids will start seeing in-game banners notifying them when they have 30 minutes left in Fortnite. But Fortnite is still getting bigger thanks to collaborations as well. Speaking of collaborations, collaborations between Fortnite and other brands are ongoing with Epic Games are partnering with the popular rubber footwear brand Crocs to create Battle Royale inspired clogs. These new Fortnite themed Crocs will be available in stores soon, letting fans show their love for the game wherever they go. Fortnite's partnership with Crocs is exciting because two new pairs of famous rubber shoes will be available in stores on October 29th. Dick Zerto shared the first image of the Fortnite X Crocs collaboration on Twitter. One pair is inspired by the iconic Battle Pass from Fortnite. It has a purple color scheme and yellow hazard symbols on the straps. There is also another pair inspired by the popular Battle Royale Fortnite character Peely that is expected to be released. But only images of the Battle Bus pair have been shown so far. After the Shaquille O'Neal crossover, Stephen A. Smith hinted at his own crossover skin showing his interest in being part of the Fortnite. Okay. Fortnite, this is the video game Fortnite, right? I think so. Um, Wailing Woods, Tomato Town. Oh, I remember something about this. I'm gonna go with Tilted Towers. Although the sports analyst doesn't have a real connection to the game, he made a joking reference to himself in Fortnite. While it seems unlikely that the well-known ESPN employee will ever join the metaverse, it's not impossible. Epic Games has collaborated with many real people, some of whom had no direct connection to Fortnite. Chloe Kim and Cabby Lame are examples. Regardless, Smith humorously hinted at his own crossover. Let's wrap up this video before we dive any deeper into this topic. Don't forget to comment below and subscribe.